Andrew here at 640. It's never too early to talk about the weekend because after all it is here and the weekend is the unofficial start of summer and that means road trips. Never too early to start talking about summer either. And whether it's a small day trip we're talking about or you are driving across the country, we have what you need to look at on your car before hitting the road. Here's our visit to Freddie Kish's complete car care center for those tips. Sure, well, you want to check all of the fluids on the vehicle, specifically your engine oil is a very important one. There's a dipstick on nearly every car. Uh, we need to check that. Uh, we, you should look at your wiper blade condition in case you get in any kind of inclement weather. Uh, you should be looking at your tire condition and the tire pressures. And don't forget to check the spare because that's an important one that often gets forgotten. So on this vehicle, your engine oil dipstick is right here in the center. Most newer cars, the engine oil dipstick is has a yellow handle on it. And what you're, you have to wipe the stick off like that. And then you're looking at the crosshatch that's in there and you always want that oil in that crosshatch area right there. If the oil is in that area, it's in an acceptable level. If not, then you need to add oil to get it to that level. On the wiper blades, what you want to do is you can pull the arm up and run your finger along the underside of the blade, if the rubber is torn at all, or if the blade is, is starting to what we call lay over, where instead of being nice and straight laying on the windshield, they start to lay over, they tend not to clean as well when they're laying over. We always recommend to our clients that, uh, that they put a new set of blades on there before they go on a road trip. What you're looking at on tires as far as tread depth is this small indicator right here, it's called a wear bar. And when that wear bar becomes exposed, the tires need to be replaced. And every manufacturer, regardless of brand, molds a wear bar into the tire. Tires are something, particularly when you're traveling at highway speed, tires are just so important uh, that you have good tires on the car. So every manufacturer puts a label inside the driver's door that shows the correct cold tire pressure for your vehicle. Cold is defined as that car sitting at least two hours before you check the tire pressures. But if you open your driver's door, it's going to be a, a white and yellow label right here. And on that label, it shows your tire size and the recommended cold tire pressure. Other items which need to be checked are the coolant levels, washer fluid, the battery, and all of the lights. You can also get your vehicle checked out by most mechanics before going on a trip. It's also a good idea to have an emergency kit somewhere in the vehicle. A, a good go kit on something like that, jumper cables is important. In case something happens to the battery and it happens to fail, you've got some jumper cables where you can get the car started. Uh, a uh, couple of cans of fix-a-flat in case you get a flat tire in an area where you cannot get a quick repair or you can't put your spare on. Uh, those are some good things to have. According to AAA, some other items also suggested to keep in your vehicle are a first aid kit, a flashlight, a basic set of tools, and drinking water and snacks for everyone in the car, including pets. This way you'll be prepared for that next road trip no matter where it takes you. And speaking of road trips, this weekend just sounds like a good time.